in this bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, guys, welcome to the 25-8. Thank you guys for uh, joining us. You know, we're here at your beautiful studio. Thank you for Lovely. Yeah. Bianca yeah. and Alyssa Ramirez, two sisters, studio. right? Yeah. How, so are we, we? How are we? How are we? How you guys feeling? Right now. Good? Yeah. yeah. After How a couple shots, right? <laughs> I feel warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> feeling lovely. The, wep- the weather's a little works. cold outside, so this tequila's hopping for sure. <laughs> but uh, what do we have here? I know we have a couple different sections set up, and uh, what are the three? The three sections? Or what? Yeah, you guys have set up here the three different, like, kind of... So I just moved into a new space. Um, I originally started off doing two gems, but now I've expanded my services, so I do beauty services now. Sick. I do... Lashes, I tattoo lips, I yeah. do eyebrows, teeth whitening, um, and then I just moved into this new space. So I want to move more into content creation. Love um, it. So my sister does photography, so she has a space right here. And then yeah, we're just trying to rent out the space, trying to get passive income, trying to focus on photography, content the creation, hustle. and aesthetics. And Same. then we also have a jewelry business together. So wha- what are the three businesses then? So I do Bling Tooth Gems, uh-huh. and then we both do Bling Tooth Jewelry together, okay. and then her photography is yeah. 619 Star Shots. Yeah, so I started off doing Star Shots around Valentine's Day, like the old school airbrush mall photo. You know, I was yeah, looking at yeah, that. Yeah. I, it reminded me of like middle school, like when people would give you those cards, like with like mm-hmm. writing on the back of it, like yes, save this exactly, or whatever. Like yeah. All the old school stuff is coming back. We started off doing it for back. Valentine's Day, because everyone was like, you yeah. know, couple shoes <laughs> yep. and like that so cool. old school but when but I started doing it, there was, like, barely any space. So I only was doing star shots. And as soon as she started getting this space, we already had all the equipment to build a studio. So I was like, ooh, let's start doing studio shoots. I could get different color backdrops. And we want to start renting it out. Yeah. And I yeah. also want to be able to create, like, packages for content creation. Because a lot of people do need help with, like, social media and everything. So yeah. that's something Thousand we're going to get into. And you guys are pretty yeah. good at that, obviously. You know what I mean? I mean, mm. you guys miss TikTok with this wall itself, right? I know. We'll get I into that. I know. That's crazy. That, yeah. that is crazy. But just like, w- just looking into the space, I was like, this has so many different things that we can do with it. A lot of potential. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah. I was just doing tooth gems for a long time. So, and that was the first thing. That's how you kind of started. Off. Was it, did the tooth gems come first or was it the jewelry that came first? It was the jewelry, the jewelry. first. The jewelry? Yeah. How'd you guys get into that? Yeah, take, <laughs> take no, us no, back, no, take no, us no, back no, a little no, bit. No, give no, us, no, perfect, yeah, give us a condensed no, version <laughs> of how this all came about. Um, basically, we got out of school. We were he finished high school. I lives. finished college. We were cool. four years apart. We were just like working. We did we quit our jobs? Yeah, yeah. We both just quit our jobs. Oh, we were like scary. Yeah. vibing. We got into a car accident. And then we were stuck in bed, and we were, like, kind of dramatic. Like, so it you wasn't you that you guys get bad. injured because? We got whiplash, yeah. Yeah. but it was nothing that serious. Well, but kind we of for, like, a month. We couldn't really move. Oh, like shit. Yeah. It was very, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys were trying to figure out, like, what to do during that time? or? Well, yeah, we just got so really paranoid. So basically, she finished high school. I finished college. We were like, okay, it's summertime. Let's, like, quit our jobs and have a fun-ass summer and then both, like, settle down and find real jobs or, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, a month into it, we got into this really bad car accident, and we couldn't move. So we couldn't do what we were doing. We were going to the gym, partying, going to the beach. That was it. (laughs) Love it. And then we couldn't do it anymore. (laughs) Literally, it was like Jersey Shore. And then we couldn't do anything. So we were like, damn, like, what if this had left us, like, without a leg or something? Like, how would we make money? Because at the time, all I had ever done was, like, waitressing. So we're like, let's figure out a way to make money online, like at home, not really doing anything. So we just kind of brainstormed for like a week. Like, should we sell clothes, like jewelry? Like, we just brainstormed a bunch of stuff. And how long ago was this? This was like, what, 2018? Summer of 2018. Summer of 2018. Okay. okay. It's like four or five, five, five years five ago. Years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then we we're like, okay, jewelry is like small, easy to ship out. Like, there's for not sure. a lot of people selling it right now. And then we just kind of decided, like, okay, we'll do this. We learned everything through YouTube, Google. But you guys were, like, doing, like, custom pieces and stuff like that, too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was, like, before anybody else was doing it. It was, like, right. so not explain, a lot like of people explain, had. Like, at the time, I mean, we had, general, like, two like competitors. Now, it's, there's so e- many people kind yeah. of. Well, what kind of, what was it? Like, what kind of jewelry is it? It was more, like, fashion jewelry. So, like gold plated everything was like brass based but gold plated right. so it's like affordable but still like nice. kind of like quality. batty themed. it was yeah. very on trend you know? so everything you would see the celebrities wearing in all these photos we had the version of that to just wear for the night or like you know for the vibe so 
we would lend it out to like stylists for celebrities like living in LA it was kind of a lot easier to network and we we're working with a lot of influencers so that yeah. cool. like grew Helped our brand you, really for fast sure. it helps yeah. catapult it yeah mm-hmm. and then instagram was a lot different at the time too like so you guys were living yeah. in LA Algorithm at the time was so mm-hmm. different yeah. so like instagram like as soon as someone posted it like everyone bought whatever that person posted yeah. now mm-hmm. it's a little bit harder and like it's different Why because so? because instagram wants you to pay for advertisement now uh, before mm-hmm. instagram was more like free like and organic free, organic all following that. yeah now it's like you need to pay yeah brand, for to branded content posts. you need to pay for this yeah. like they choose who they want to promote and it's like pretty much they just want to get paid for everything Oof. so it's a lot different That's than it lot. was mm-hmm. when we first started so that started taking off yeah that started taking off um we did it for like two years and then COVID hit and then it kind of changed like everything pretty much so like small businesses were more like on trend people were more at home so people right. wanted to start their own businesses mm-hmm. so yeah. people started to research more we had more competition and that's kind of when we started doing the other things because we're the same thing like we were used to going out all the time and right. networking and stuff to just being home and right. it's like it's such a big Different transition oh, yeah, yeah it's like i'm bored at home what do i do now you know no yeah, yeah for sure so what, what were you guys using to kind of like get those orders out and stuff like that or how'd you guys like start selling your was it all all instagram and just selling off of like we shopify, shopify or something shopify, yeah. Shopify, yeah. yeah and then everyone on instagram yeah. so we kind of had to learn everything like step by step so in the beginning we made the instagram and we were like okay let's like offer an influencer like 50 bucks like we had no idea about we anything we were just like doing yeah. we were just like yeah. hey like if we send you just a necklace and wet. if you post it like I'll we'll give, give 50 you bucks. 50 <laughs> bucks like is yeah. that okay and they were and like the, and, the necklace, and they right. were like yeah of course and i'm like oh shit is 50 bucks too much is it not enough <laughs> right. like, yeah you didn't have a yeah. gauge but yeah we were just, just like learning everything like step by step and then we realized people do it for free. Like, they'll do it for a free necklace, which right. at the time cost us, like, you know, whatever. A couple bucks. Or yeah, three or bucks. Yeah, yeah. We sell for, like, 30 bucks and then make the difference. And they're for happy sure. with a free necklace. And it's just, like, step by step, we learned everything throughout the way, yeah. you know? That's but crazy. How was that process, though? Like, learning not only, like, the social media game with, like, influencer and, like, the pricing, blah, 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 but also, like, the business side of it. What do you mean learning the business side? Like the it? business side, like, all right, you start making real money. Now, like, you create a corporation, whatever, this, that, the other. Now you got taxes involved. Like, just navigating, like, creating a business. Like, how was that experience? With the taxes, we messed up. <laughs> we messed <laughs> That's up what really I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's no, a, lot of you learn. Trial There's and a lot of exactly. failure that goes into a business. Like, like, oh, like, especially we owe if how you much? have no family members that like know what to do or like how to help you they're talking down on you like you literally everything you either learn online or like by failing like how much did we owe that <laughs> yeah no you guys were like oh no, shit yeah, we won't say the yeah, amount there but was moments say the money, like when when we had first started we're like oh shit like we're making this much like we our whole family was it. like yeah like like in the beginning our door. family is like okay like you need to get a real job like you can't yeah. be selling jewelry and like okay we're tripling your salary yeah, like get out my face. what yeah <laughs> like what now and then all of a sudden it's like tax season and we're like oh shit like <laughs> we're what like, are taxes yeah. our money. what are write-offs yeah. <laughs> what right, is this exactly. so we had to hire a cpa we yeah. had to learn it all and then we're like shit we owe this much money and it's like you never realize that until you start you're like okay i need to start saving like 30 around 30 percent of right. whatever yeah. we make Mm-hmm. and it's like i oh think shit. that's one of like the biggest things for like startup companies right they like don't realize that part of it like you got to keep some of that aside for you know uncle sam he's gonna come yeah. knocking yeah. it's not you know it's not just free income you know you gotta you gotta get text text somehow but it's like you you never know you until you know yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. exactly like you yeah. just start getting all this money you're like oh shit like <laughs> yep. i'm rich like, <laughs> sure. i could do this uh-huh. i could do that like and, and then it feels it's like, like oh since shit. you're just doing it on your own it's not real in a sense do you know what i mean yeah. like it's yeah. just like oh we're just like it's exactly. gonna keep versus coming like you don't know what you don't know versus like when i was waitressing they just take it out of your check exactly like you never really realize not looking out for it Whenever your taxes come around, I get money back. Now it's like, damn, okay, I, I need to pay it, money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? How can I write this off? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's That's such a big transition. Yeah. And then you guys, how'd you guys end up in SD? Just 
So COVID started, our lease was up in LA and we, our plan was to move out of our apartment and then move back to LA and get a new apartment. So we were going to like move back home for like a month or two, look for a new apartment and then move back. Because at the time we had, was she a living roommate? Yeah. We had one other roommate. So we were like, okay, let's just move in just us two. And then we moved back. And then literally like a month later, COVID started and we were like, I don't know how this is going to affect our business. Like, what if it slows down? What Mm -hmm. if we don't make money? Like, let's just stay for a while and see how it is, which at the time it fluctuated so much during COVID. It did. Like when the PPP loans came out. Oh, you guys were booming, huh? Yeah. Yes. For real. And it was like small business was like in the spotlight. So we just like our sales went all the way up. Like Mm -hmm. it was so high and then all of a sudden it was so low like it was like a roller coaster and then it was like worse than ever and we're just like this is so inconsistent like we didn't know what to do yeah we had to kind of think of something else so that's kind of what led her into doing the strip gems and then also me doing the photography Mm -hmm. so at the when i lived in la i always wanted a tooth gem but i don't know why i just never got one and then i moved back home and i was like just bored and i was like "Hmm, let me just get a tooth gem what are these tooth gems like describe a little bit they're just the so they're just like so pretty much like crystals. jewelry for your teeth. Yeah. They last three months to two years. They're temporary. They don't damage your teeth or anything, but they're just like decoration. I took mine off because of my surgery, yeah, but yeah. Um, they yep. just like look cute on your teeth. Yeah. So it's a lot more popular in LA than it is in San Diego. Um, so when I moved back, I was like, okay, let me get one. Let me like see what it's like. Yeah, what the yeah, vibe yeah. is. So I like Googled it. I found one person in all of San Diego who did it. I went, got it done. It took five minutes, and it was one hundred and fifty dollars. And I was like, "Wait, what?" I was like, "Damn, <laughs> this girl just made one hundred and fifty dollars like, in up. five minutes! Yeah. Like, that's crazy." And I was like, "Okay, I think I want to like do this because yeah. we already did jewelry. We had pop ups all the time. It's a fast service." I was like, "Okay, if we do a pop up, I could just be like on the side doing tooth gems. Like, it just sounds like fun. Like, it wasn't like something serious." Right. And then I did research for, like, a month, trying to figure out, like, who did classes, how to learn how to do it. Um, I found one lady who did it for 2000 bucks, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to learn and, like, see where it goes. And then just people kept asking me about it. Like, no one really knew what it was like. In San Diego, Mm -hmm. it was more – or actually everywhere. It was, like, tattoo shops and very, like, grungy and, like – that was yeah. the vibe of tooth gems, like yeah. going to a tattoo shop, all like older people filled with tattoos, like yeah. Just well, well, the first time things, I saw, it, yeah, the first time like I saw it was on Travis Barker, so it's like yeah, it was more like it was like, like, yeah. like rocker, yeah. like tattoo people. And my idea, just doing the jewelry that we had done, I was like, this can be more like a baddie, feminine, yeah. like girly type of trend because right. I could already just see it happening. Yep. So I was like, okay, let me learn. Like it'll be fun, and then. I was kind of the first person in San Diego that, like, made it, like, a girly beauty type of thing. Now, if you look around, you'll see, like, Lash Tech's doing it, Nail Tech's doing it. But, like, it started off as a whole different vibe than it is now. No, yeah, for sure. Do you remember, like, uh, at New Year's, running into that guy, and he's, like, smiling. I'm like, bro, what do you have on your teeth? And he's like, oh, check out these gems. I'm like, I know someone that does it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. In OC? In OC, yeah. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Yeah, he was telling us about that, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, not a lot of people do it. Even, like, now it's a lot more popular, but, like, any other city you go to, you won't see it. Right, right. Even I've had clients come from, like, Arizona, New York, random places. Miami. I've never seen this (laughs) before. Yeah. 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 So how'd you get, like, your clientele? Social media? Social media. Which ones? Like, after COVID, you know, you're at home. It's like, how are you going to, when you're starting all this up, how do you find these people? From our jewelry, we kind of learned how to find influencers. It okay. is harder in different cities. Like in LA, it's so easy to find influencers because they're everywhere. Right. But we just kind of like found a technique of how to find influencers, and I just copied the same thing for my tooth gems. There you go. Like we could give you G- a little secret. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little, 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 what, what is it? <laughs> what is give it? you a little pep in your step. Were you guys creeping on these profiles? What are you guys doing? We do creep. Yeah, we I mean you creep. have to, right? Yeah. To find the baddies in yeah. a city, you look up the highest like like the nicest aesthetic restaurants and you go on their tagged photos yep. and then you find the baddies and yeah. then you just check their profile make sure they live in the and city you just reach out send a nice yeah. message 
now that we have more followers, it's kind of easier. It's harder when you're first starting because they're like, is this a scam? Yeah, they're like, who is this? Is Literally, this people would always ask us, is this a scam? And we're like, no. Like, I don't know how to yeah. convince I'm you. I'm on this and this street. Like, come come <laughs> see like, me in yes. person. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> well, especially when you're starting out, like you said, it's yeah. like scam. Like, oh, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. So you're having to like hustle and like really get into that Put space. Put in the work so you're like you know, Now it's a little bit easier, like you yeah. said. But back then, it's like building it up. But yeah, so a lot of the people, like when we would go to LA, she would have tooth gem clients. So like we kind of had already had friends that helped us with our jewelry and stuff. And as soon as she did tooth gems on them, it was like a bunch of people want the exact Just same blew thing. Up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like when we first mouth. started, so we have a friend, she's a YouTuber. What is she? She has like 200,000 on Shout YouTube out to or her. something. Yeah. yeah. And Shout out every Victoria. time, Victoria. yeah, <laughs> Victoria, thank you. Loops. Every time we would send her jewelry, everyone would buy that piece of jewelry like That's it would dope. sell out so when i started doing tooth gems crazy. i reached out to her and i was like hey i just started doing this like would you be down to get some so i did her tooth gems she got so she got one gem on each canine and then the four fangs. on the bottom so she got six gems total and she posted it on her youtube channel Hell yeah. literally i got my whole first month of doing tooth gems was Big fully time. booked of the loops design so like Damn. whatever she, everyone she in la yeah, yeah. I would make a trip to LA for like four days. Each four days, I would have like eight clients back to back to back to back asking for the same exact design. I charge like 180 per design. Right. And it's like you're doing eight people. I'd be making like $1,000 a day for like three, four days Couple straight. Hours, yeah. And then yeah. it takes literally like 15 minutes. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm going like to get the loops design, bro. I'm going to look at my things. Like, bro, it looks kind of cool, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Hell so yeah. that was the first time I was like, wow, like compared to, I mean, everything's different. Jewelry is different because you're getting orders right. like one by one by mm -hmm. one. It could be happening while you're sleeping, while you're awake, whatever. But this was the first time that I like do physical labor that I'm like, damn, this was easy. Like as a waitress, I would be busting my ass off making 150 to like 250, but for like eight hours straight. Right tired yeah, and it's a lot more yeah and, on and this is just like right? yeah. i'm yeah. just standing there going doo, 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 putting yeah. on a gem like it's not <laughs> and it's on your own clock that's <laughs> yeah. like the better thing about it too right it's like it's when you yeah. not when you want to do it but you have that leisure of you know you've been yeah, able to do it when you can you know what i mean yeah like my schedule is this this is when i'm available mm -hmm. are you guys down and i'm pretty sure it's still book up yeah right? so that was the first time i was like wow like this can actually be something and that was like starting off. So I, at the time, like I didn't know anything about like the beauty industry. I didn't know about anything else. That was just like the beginning. And I was like, this could be something, you know, yeah. like something on its own, even though I was already doing the jewelry. And I was like, OK, yeah, you know, this would be cool. And then after the first month of working, I found a spot and it was at a spa. And that's when I saw other people in the beauty industry and how much money they were making. And I was like, wow, like I never knew this. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like right. I had a coworker that was doing eyebrow tattoos. She charged $600 per client. She'd have Crazy. three clients what? a day. Yeah. Leave with like 1800 bucks. So you have a tattoo gun around here? What? Do you have a tattoo gun around here? <laughs> <laughs> I do have one, actually. <laughs> I'm going to walk out here with a neck tat. <laughs> I'm going to walk out here with a neck tat. That's funny. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so then you started like doing that slowly like picking up on some of the more beauty stuff yeah, yeah yeah so that was like my transition into like okay like i've always loved doing beauty but i just never knew you can also make money while doing something that you like to do you know yeah. like growing up i always thought like okay doctor lawyer like that's pretty much all you could do real estate right. to make money and right you know now it's just expanded to everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so tell us about this money wall <laughs> <laughs> we saw it on TikTok, has like, I don't know, 2 million views. I How'd this come about? Where did the idea come from? I saw a TikTok of this place in like Australia that had a money wall and it said, girls just want to have funds. What is, how long you been here for? Um, About a month. A month? Yeah, it yeah. hasn't been very long. How's it going with the shoots here? It's going really good. Yeah. Right now I'm working on building a Valentine's Day little setup. It's coming up, huh? Yeah. Yes. It's coming up soon. I already have a lot of people that want to book it, so I'm thankful for that. And yeah, I'm just excited to be building different studios, getting different colored backdrops, and expanding. Yeah, you need that, that bubble one. Me and Ty are going to come in. I and know. Take one together. I was going to say about it. You guys should do star shots. No, you guys should do star shots together. That's hilarious. No, but, but how'd you get into that, though? 
so how do you um, did you teach yourself how to, how to uh, do photography did you go to s- like schools yeah so a long time ago i wanted to be a youtuber when i was in like middle school maybe so She's my parents wanted to be it. famous you're on your way that yeah. was like her goal in life so it. in my head i was gonna be a youtuber and all this stuff i never did that but i would like always hang out with my friends and i'd be like oh i'm gonna take my camera and i just started shooting so as soon as we started the business i was doing like all the product shots i would like get really in tune with doing the creative stuff i'd have these ideas or concepts and execute them um and then when we moved back here i was just doing it for the brand or like people who knew basically would hit me up and then she came up with the idea of doing like a collab thing so like if people do the star shots they could also get a tooth gem and i started doing that and then we kind of went like baby viral on tiktok and twitter so i was fully booked like just getting booked all the time Um, doing the star shots and then I just got more backdrops um, as soon as we moved the space I started getting studio equipment and yeah so I'm just slowly working on expanding but I have been doing it like a long time before I actually started charging it was like more for myself more was it like self-taught though yes okay it is yeah. self-taught oh I yeah. like always would fuck around on like Lightroom and like all the editing apps and just like yeah. kind of got my own style but I would say having our own business helped a lot like it goes hand in hand with the type of creativity yeah i like to yeah you know like, like a lot shoots. of a lot of our um like posts and everything would be like photo shoots so like right before on instagram you'd see most people were just like posting selfies or iphone pictures yeah. mm-hmm. or stuff like that and we were like the first people to really try to make it like professional but on yeah. your own right like n- mm-hmm. without like the big production and everything yeah. and she would just kind of like plan everything she'd be like okay like i want to do it by the beach and golden hour and we could do our gold jewelry and make oh, them dress like sick, this yeah. and mm-hmm. do this so it was a lot of like creativity involved because a lot of like it is it like has to be appealing to the eye first right mm-hmm. the eye sees everything yeah, first and that's what makes people want to for sure want to pursue everything right yeah. before yeah. anything else we were good. obsessed with Pinterest. So I would yeah. be on Pinterest all the time, like looking at all these cool shoots and just like different vibes from like all the time. And I would be like, OK, let's recreate this, but change this. And like we had so many friends that wanted to model. We had like different looks for different jewelry. So it was so fun, like just, you know, creating different vibes for each piece of jewelry or just like different concepts that our friends wanted to do. So it really did start off as like a passion thing, and now I just yeah, that's charge. Sick. <laughs> no, that's dope. That's uh, awesome. uh, like towards the beginning, you were mentioning that a lot of people were kind of being like naysayers and like doubters and non-believers of what you guys were doing, right? Mm-hmm. Like saying get a real job, whatever. Yeah. Where are they now? What do you tell those people now? Or like, <laughs> uh, you know, what, how's that? How's that conversation now? <laughs> start. <laughs> when we first started, I feel like a lot of people, especially like family and friends never really knew like the possibilities of what you can do and how you can make money um like without having like a regular like nine to five type job um and a lot of people like doubted us or told us like when are you going to stop doing this and get a real job when are you going to do this once we started like making money and stuff they were like oh shit like okay (laughs) like i guess you could Mm -hmm. but i think it just kind of opened your eyes to like you can really make money doing anything right. that you want to do as long as you Are stay consistent right. or you're compassionate about it and i feel like especially with social media like you can really do anything like there's people doing lashes that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month like as long as you have one thing that you're Crazy. really passionate about there's so many things you could do courses you can do online classes yeah. you can do in-person classes you can have your clients like it's just like non-stop with the internet because you can reach a global scale of people not only in the united states all over the world yeah, sick. so it's percent. just like endless you know how's it been working you two together you guys work well with each other any bunt heads or anything like that <laughs> they look at each other <laughs> like ah <laughs> No, nah, it, it, I felt like no. it's, it's felt like love. Yeah, you guys seem like you we know, have gotten have into beef about yeah. the jewelry, though. Like, there's been some little weird things that like we get so mad. Like, she'll be like, why would you post that? That looks so ghetto. Or like one time we have like an email marketing thing. She made her first YouTube video on her own, like irrelevant to our brand. And she but sent I made it about business. 
So it was like I made a YouTube channel, right? And it was about business. They're gonna fight again. Oh shit! Like how to start your own business. She sent it out to everyone who was supposed to get like the notifications for our sales and like stuff like that. Like just her YouTube channel, and we got. I I was so mad at her. I was just like, that's good and everything, but like that's so ghetto. Like would Fashion Nova do that to you? Like we just. (laughs) <laughs> we've had a lot of little, little, yeah, little we've had a lot of yeah. <laughs> it's all about the process though so. yeah i mean shit alert. him and i we I fucking bicker about certain things all the time too so i totally get it i can see that for sure you know yeah. when it's like two strong-minded people coming together to try to build something huge like there's obviously going to be some shit where you guys button heads or like yeah. you know grind your gears but at the end of the day you guys come together and come out with some fucking oh like yeah. that's like where we're at right now yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like so and I feel like now we've gotten better at like coming together before we do anything. And I'm like, okay, I'm going right. to do this. Or like, you know, what do you think of this? Yeah. And we're just and I more feel like, like, it's like easier as sisters. Cause it's like, we could be a hundred percent honest. I could be like, yeah. your idea is stupid. And she'll be like, <laughs> she'll be like, okay. Versus like, if it's your friend or something, like you're going to be afraid of hurting their feelings yeah. or like a not being a hundred percent honest. Yeah. But it's like, so it's more real. We could just be like, okay, like, this is a bad idea. Let's not yeah. do that. Yeah. Versus like trying to get around it and trying to be nice and not hurt someone's feelings, you know? Yeah. Sure. No, hell yeah. Well, shit. Uh, congratulations to you both. Absolutely. You guys are yeah. on your way to some great things. And I know you guys have a lot of stuff still ahead of you guys where you guys want to, you know, do things with this own studio here and rent it out to certain like uh, professions and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So just keep on going. And fuck, man, it's been cool knowing you girls and Thank seeing you. you guys where you guys are at now. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys are going to do some great things in the future. So the sky's the limit. Keep on fucking. We appreciate keep it. On going. Thank so, yeah, you. thank we you guys. For you guys. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you guys for inviting us out here. You know, it's, it's been fun. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, where, where can and people now reach we you? Celebrate. Yeah, now we <laughs> celebrate. Where can people reach you guys on Instagram and whatnot? Um, so our jewelry page is Bling King Jewelry. And then photography my photography page is 609 Star Shots. Cool. And then my beauty page is Bling Tooth Gems. Bling Tooth Gems. We'll bang, bang. We'll put these all up here for everyone that wants to come out to yes. sunny San Diego and get some stuff done. Uh, you know, but thank you guys for listening and uh, thank you guys for having us. I appreciate you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. Uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you. Cool.